Hi, I'm Merrill Williams, and um, it's about time I got to 1994 and the period of time where things change. In order to introduce the character of Dick Scruggs, also Richard Scruggs, um, I have to say that <clears throat> there is a fairly accurate um, biography written by um, Curtis Wilkie. It's called The Fall of the House of Zeus. Now, uh, in its second year of publication, I read it only recently and then perused it again for some details. You know, it's it's hard to escape the analogy of um, a book that's called The Fall of the House of Zeus. And even though you may know the origin of Zeus, the fraternity boy, um, uh, it is still Wilkie's apparent um uh, designed to to make or create a um, a perilous um, and provocative um, analogy with perhaps Greek tragedy perhaps this could be in the line of um, Another kind of tragedy, the uh, the thing that comes to my mind is also the um, the kind of tragedy that uh, is not really a tragedy, um, but has a remarkable resemblance to a a fate um, in the sense of the characters of Mo and Scro, uh, I, I tend to think of Vladimir and Estragon in uh, Beckett's um, Waiting for Godot, an epitaph to, uh, to time and to our ungodly ambush of sorts. And in this sense, my own um, my own indications of of uh, thinking about uh, a an analogy in lifestyle and and perhaps that which is intended more so by um, the author i I'm not really missing the point because that's apparently where Curtis Wilkie is is directing me toward the the giant mythological uh, era of um, Aeschylus, Sophocles, Euripides and um, and certainly Aristotle who may have bent toward this um, in terms of a curse. If we were to fill in the the actual concept of Aristotelian criticism, which is pedantic, but nevertheless, if you're going to use the the, the title "The Fall of the House of Zeus," and then in following pages, also render antagonists of the story it is remarkable to get anywhere away from the curse of the house of atreus for example where <clears throat> where we could eliminate the curse in some extent the, there's certainly the parallel of um, a curse on on dicky scruggs um i knew dicky scruggs as a person who was 
somewhat um, uh, individual. I'm not a person who was a friend by any means, um, nor would he say the same of me. But what I see with uh, the book itself is a, a kind of curse in a similar way that um, you might have found, and maybe this, this is this unavoidably true for uh, Curtis Wilkie, uh, who is a journalist, but by the nature of his writing, he's um, a skilled journalist with a lot of um, uh, apparent uh, need to uh, make things solid and convincing. And one of these is the chapter, itself, the title itself. So if we can look at the titular part of, of um, and add to that, perhaps, a, a concept of what the curse of the house of Atreus was, um, that would be very quickly and a, um, yeah, for example, um, in 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 the the, the sense of uh, Aristotelian um, criticism or ars poetica, which is to be more specific. Um, the the characters of the Greek tragedies are uh, who were the heroes, and I would assume here we're looking at a, a parallel figure. Were men better than we are, and therefore you have um, um, you have Oedipus, for example, on his way, and uh, challenging him and killing his own father after having realized that he has, um, um, or uh, in in the same sense, realizing that he has um, he has been um, incestuous with his own mother. That is tragic, and to take the figure. Of Oedipus or, or um, uh, one of the other uh, major characters, Aeschylus, for example, uh, rendering um, a, a good a good character who obviously in for the Greeks was was a um, a character who had to support his his brother Menelaus in, in the battle to um, to contribute to the Ten Year War, which uh, was the Trojan War, and uh, to do so was uh, eventually to capture him uh, in the in the uh, moment of hubris, and he walks on the copper copper. And, um, the the inevitable happens. His wife um, uh, does him in, but these men in in the in the tradition of Homer, <clears throat> and again, there's another reference in the, the beginning and opening uh, to 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 Greek um, traditional myth. Um, the the reference uh, is appropriate and sort of rounds out the thinking that the titular of the book is somehow related to a curse but this is a little pedantic to get down to the nitty-gritty I prefer Estragon and Vladimir really and waiting for Godot because um, there's more of this wit and sarcasm than in his book that you can read into it having been there not not just having to uh, read it after it's been reported on the other hand it's it's a it, this is a biographer uh, it is it is a biography by a biographer who's <coughs> apparently an authorized biographer and a friend. 
both in the beginning and the end, he acknowledges that he is a friend. So we have no reason to believe there isn't a bit of bias. And while Wilkie is not exactly um, Sir Thomas More or Carl Sandburg or um, um, Theodore White, his 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 knack for uh, Southernisms comes through in terms of his writing style. He's very very good in terms of uh, of his writing style and his journalistic um, style. He does use sources unknown or so sources that, that he's going to keep quiet, and he doesn't really fact check. I know because. I happen to appear on page 56 and 57, I think, somewhere in there. Uh, and there are some certain facts that are they're not exactly correct. But then again, this is the biographer for Dickie Scruggs. Now, <clears throat> if we can consider this further in terms of the curse, the curse begins with the question, which is paginated early. Um, when I think in the preface, Dickie asks a scrap, Dick, Richard is more formal, but I think, I'm not really sure there's a, there's a, there's a propriety, there's a, a proper way to address men who has such stature. And in this case, um, this is precisely the point. Um, while he is a man somehow projected into the same stream of, of a Greek tragedian. Um, and I would guess that would be one of the, uh, the uh, Curse of the House of Atreus, which is basically the, the genuine uh, articles. His figure status is not a man who's better than we are. But a man who starts out without a sense of atrophy, um, but certainly no exile, he starts out genuinely humble, and he builds up beyond that. This sounds more like a Dickinsonian um, uh, type of character than one that is extracted out of uh, out of the. the um, turmoil of the Greek mythology uh, writers. Um, nevertheless, if you, if you compare and say, okay, he's a man better than we are, and there are certainly so many people who came to his defense when he was in a, in a desperate need of it. Um, I have the idea that we somehow equate success with money, with power, and they all are somehow in line, one way or the other. You can't have power without money in our country today and in what we call the democracy, which it certainly is not. And the republic, which it might have been, but we are a nation who, a nation of people which is endowed with the appreciation of wealth, success, and power, in that order, perhaps more than any other. Certainly, in the sense of Dickie Scruggs, uh, this would apply. So, maybe if we can use the analogy, we can begin to look and see how Dickie Scruggs is. By, by the very nature of his um, his accomplishments, while not probably the uh, greatest trial attorney in the world, certainly a formidable figure, who uh, was a negotiable instrument in the pathway to making money, which is what the story is really about. Now the question is, who put him up to it? And that is where Mr. Wilkie begins his story. And I'll have some more to say about that in a moment.
Part 2.